Shalom, family trendsetter. It's me again. Listen, I want to show more proof that this so-called coronavirus that Trump allegedly contracted is bullshit. It was a hoax. Watch this devil leave out a Marine One helicopter, walk up the stairs, and I want you to pay attention to what he does next. You tell me if this shit is not a hoax. Watch this. Hey, Jamie, you can see the president. I Clearly, he didn't stop and talk to reporters, uh, but he's walking up those stairs. Uh, and, uh, and 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 let's see what uh, let's see what he does. I assume he'll pause and wave. Uh, let me pause for a second. Well, clearly the photo op there, you saw the president walk up, uh, he's standing there, and he did, he did take off his mask, put it in the po in his pocket. Uh, I don't know what kind of statement he's trying to make by showing off that he can take off his mask. Uh, give, uh, gives a thumbs up over there, but it's uh, clearly all about the photo op. The president wants to show he's back in action, uh, and that's why he took off his mask, trying to give uh, some sort of symbolic gesture there. Uh, and it's uh, not necessarily the right gesture to give at this point. Uh, you see one photographer, uh, a White House photographer there up on the balcony with him. Uh, I hope he knows what he's doing, that White House photographer. Could be pretty dangerous because the president clearly, Sanjay, very quickly to you, Sanjay, the president clearly is very contagious, right? Uh, we don't have Sanjay right now, but clearly the president is contagious right now. Uh, he's saluting. He's standing there. He's going to go inside. Uh, and uh, it's it's really, uh, I, I dare to say, a rather reckless development uh, that the president is doing. As contagious as he is with COVID-19, he took off his uh, mask, is saluting, uh, and the, he, he clearly is more interested in the photo op right now than uh, getting inside. You see Marine One uh, now leaving the South Lawn of the White House. Uh, but the president still there trying to show that things are getting back to normal. I guess that's his message. That's what he's trying to show. But clearly, the fact that he took off his mask uh, is uh, rather reckless. I will say that. Uh, I want to turn over our coverage right now to Erin Burnett. She's watching all of this unfold. Erin? All right, you see the President of the United States there looking out from the White House. His mask is off. He has coronavirus. No, you don't. First thing he did after he got off Marine One, which you just saw lifting off there, just like a reality show that this was, lifting off uh, the, the president uh, there without a mask. He gets off, walks up those steps, goes between the flags, faces the cameras, and takes off his mask. Uh, again, the president is returning from Walter Reed. After three days in the hospital, he is on multiple drugs to treat the coronavirus. He is not out of the woods. His own doctors say that. It was a White House photographer who came up right behind him, masked, but, but, but right in the range, taking pictures of him. You see people there. The first thing the President of the United States did was take off his mask. You know why? Because it's a fucking hoax. That's why he took off his mask. It's symbolic to tell us that this shit is bullshit. He never had no coronavirus. There's no way in hell the CDC would have allowed... Well, can't really say that because he controlled the CDC. At the end of the day, family, this is all bullshit. It's all a hoax. Their kingdom is coming to an end. All praises be to the most high power. And they're doing everything right now to hold on to it. Donald Trump is nothing more than a showman, okay? This dude was put into office to bring this country to her knees, right? This corporation, that is, to her knees. That's all it is. His time is up. And now it's time for someone else to step into his place. I wouldn't be surprised if this motherfucker don't go back. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't go back for a second term. This is all a hoax, family. Coronavirus, well, let me not say that. Your commanding thief never had coronavirus, okay? It's a hoax. Shalom. I'm just telling everyone, Sanjay, this is a few moments ago, the other side of the helicopter, everyone, you saw it land, the cameras were on the other side. This is him getting off as he walks up those stairs. So Sanjay, keep going. This is where he has the mask on, right? As he goes to the, to passes the press, doesn't take questions and is gonna head up those stairs. God damn. Right. So he heads up the stairs and then when he gets to the top of the stairs is when he takes his mask off. And you know, if you go inside the residence, I mean, maybe 
that's where he's going to isolate. I, I, I don't know, but at that point, Caitlin was raising this issue. At that point, if anybody comes in contact with him, they need to be in personal protective equipment. I mean, if he was in the hospital still, whenever the doctors went, went to go see him, they'd be in personal protective equipment. So, you know, you, you're getting a very different picture here by seeing the president like this. Doctors look at this and they say, well, what's going on inside of him? What's, what's the illness all about? And we know he has an infection with this coronavirus. We know that that infection, that, that coronavirus can be very contagious, which is why people, you know, take great pains to protect themselves uh, in the hospital. But this is well, obviously here here a, we go. a very different... Takes it off. ...and incorrect. Here we go, family. And it's a fucking here, hoax. He takes it off and he's getting ready for his pictures. The flags flank him. Right, Caitlin, this is what he did. This is the moment. This is what he produced it for. He wants the image to be, I'm strong. This virus is nothing. His tweet today, feeling better than I did 20 years ago. Don't be afraid of COVID. Don't let it dominate your life. There he is. This is the image he wants. Yeah, and let us remind viewers now that the president is on steroids and a drug that Fewer than 10 people outside of clinical trials have gotten inside the United States to deal with coronavirus. He had a level of treatment and a level of care that most Americans would not get. That's understandable. He is the president of the United States. Obviously, everyone expects that. But what the president is portraying by taking his mask off when he gets back to the Truman balcony to give this this grand return to the White House is that everything is fine and, as he said, don't let coronavirus control your life. But that is very much still a president who has coronavirus. Despite the lights and the flags and the staged entrance that the president wants to create, he still has coronavirus and he is only a few days into the diagnosis. And Aaron, today his doctor didn't reveal a lot of information as he hasn't for the past two days, but he did yeah. still say that he won't breathe a sigh of relief until Monday. That's a full week from today and a full week from today Sanjay during which he's going to be in the White House okay and there are going to be people around him who are right he's going to he's going to eat he's going to that's the way the whole thing is he wants this image and then by the way when you said where where is he going from here he's this is obviously still what happened a couple moments ago he then goes back into the residence Sanjay and I couldn't see exactly where he went but he has no mask right he's breathing walking around leaves or doesn't leave and there's a whole bunch of people standing there in the space that he just left. I, this is, this is, I mean, you know, I, everybody should know by now, you know, he is. All right, enough of this reality show bullshit. Family, tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Do y'all buy this shit? Do you really think he have COVID? Or you think it's a hoax? I think it's a hoax. And if you have it, I still think it's a motherfucking hoax. Shalom.